Hello everyone, Ice Wolf Flame here. Welcome back to Infinity. Since the last episode, I haven't really done too much. Just been letting the uh, spawner go and the slaughterhouse do its thing. As you can see, we got four buckets of pink slime now. Not sure if that's enough. I may have to uh, use a slime uh, growth uh, syringe on them. We'll find out later. Brought over my energetic infuser to charge my jetpack up. And I've also built more onto the power room down there, which by the looks of it today, we'll be able to start on uh, power generation. And we'll also be able to make some tesseracts which will help immensely. I don't have to have all these cables everywhere. And the bonus, too, is I can actually use the smeltery to make the enderium, which is kind of nice. So we're going to throw all that in there. We're going to pull out our ingot cast. Throw that on there. And while that's doing its thing, going to need some hardened glass. I'm pretty sure four obsidian and a couple pieces of uh, lead will be enough. I'm also going to need a couple diamonds. So we're going to get these pulverized. And while that's doing its thing, I'm going to get some lead. That should be enough. Throw that in the induction smelter. Now I need eight pieces, so hopefully that is enough. And it looks like it is. Nice. And there's our 8 Enderium, which is actually really nice. I'm kind of glad we can do it this way. As you can see, I've also moved the smeltery over. Now it's where it should be. I'm gonna run over here, get our hardened glass. We'll pop in our eight ender pearls there so we can fill up our tesseracts. One, two. Nice. Things are so much easier when you have tesseracts. I'll come over here, get some bronze. I think I only need eight pieces. I think I needed some silver too. Uh, yeah, I need eight silver. So I'm gonna need a few more pieces. Yeah, I only have five in there, so. Let's just grab it. Not tin, silver. <laughs> Throw that in there for now. There's our two full tesseract frames. Come on. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Just pour it one block for now.
There we go. Nine silver. Jump over here. Shift click. And boom. Two tesseracts. Sweet. So now, with this, I'm going to plop one right here. This one I'm going to attach to the quarry a little later, but for now, we're just going to set this up to frequency 1, and we're going to call this main power. Oops, helps if I spell it right too. <laughs> we're going to save frequency and set it. We're going to send only. We're going to block fluid for now. And this one's actually going to receive items. So there we go. There we go. Now that should be set. So as far as main power generation, or at least for now, I'm going to use a bunch of magmatic dynamos. So I already got a bunch of invar set up. I'll grab a stack of iron, throw the rest of the silver in. And I'll grab some... redstone. I'm going to need actually some silver as well. So between this silver and this block, this should be enough for what I need. There we go. So I'm not going to make 20 gears. Well, actually, do I? No, not right now. Six. There we go. That should be enough for what I need. At least for now, anyway. It's perfect. Now I will get some more Invar made up. Should have some Ferris right here. Now I can't remember if I can actually do it this way or not. No, it needs to be a ingot form. So while that's doing its thing, we're going to come down here start setting this up. Now the way I plan on doing this is kind of like this. And then I'm going to have it come down the line. Kind of like modular in a sense. So I'll just set those there. Now I do have some pressurized fluid conduit with me. We're going to just plop all this right here. Like so. Then I'm going to throw the ender tank right there. Have this 
extract, and boom. Now that should fill these up if I remember. Or not. So I'm going to have to do this a little differently. Hmm. I was kind of hoping they would do it like that. That's okay. It's not like we don't have the lava. We can waste a little bit. Hmm. Do that. I actually remember how this is supposed to go now. So we're going to put you here. Just like that. Sweet. So we'll let them fill up. Now, I wouldn't mind actually a power buffer, but I'm not too worried about it right now because it's actually going to go right in the back there. But for that, I'm going to need more Enderium and I don't have the ender pearls for that right now. So, I'm going to come back up here. A little leg spike to go with that. Now this should be done. Yep. Let that make some more invar. Like I said, eventually I'll fill that all up. It'll kind of look like a like a big generator kind of deal. Let's actually just remove this for now to decorate it. Oops, I'm actually going to be using some of the uh, conduit binders. I don't know why I grabbed the wood. But in order for that, I need the painting machine. There we go. Which I need a machine chassis and some electrical steel, which I do not quite have yet. Unfortunately. Anyways. Off camera, I'll work on expanding the uh, power and hopefully more ender pearls do end up coming or growing, I should say. So anyways, we're going to set this to send item. We're going to have this receive only and fluids blocked. We're going to set that and there it goes. Looks active without signal. That should pump everything into these barrels over here. Hopefully, <clears throat> we'll have uh, all the items sorted out properly, and anything that doesn't get sorted will just be left in the uh, chest, which will probably just be bees anyway. Okay. 
So off camera, I'm going to be working towards finishing up the power room. Like I said, hopefully get some more ender pearls in the meantime. And of course, watching it all this sorts itself properly, which it should. I don't see an issue with that. And hopefully by then we'll get some more pink slime. So, until next time, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.